So this is the piece of marble 6x12 that I've been using, practicing on, getting everything kind of figured out. I finally took delivery of some of this uh, granite, black granite, uh, from Home Depot. It's only about five and a half dollars for a 12x12. 12 12. And I'm getting a wet saw so I can basically do 6x12 with the granite. <clears throat> so today's the day I'm going to do a test blasting. I'm going to use the same template stencil that I did for the marble one. Uh, the one thing that I'm going to do different, and I have, I have been cutting out the stencil, and then I would pick out all the letters, try to keep the centers in place on things like the A and the E and the A, and it was very difficult because the backing on this is like a waxy surface holding these in place, mainly so this backing can come off pretty easily. But the actually the adhesive on the back of each piece can hold down well to a normal surface, but it won't stick real good to the waxy surface, which makes sense. <clears throat> well, I was having a heck of a time getting those circles to stay put. And uh, afterwards, and then after so ever all all the uh, letters are out and the centers are still there then i would apply the uh, transfer tape and cross my fingers that those centers stayed in place well i'm an idiot because i think the better way to do it is to put the transfer tape on first take the backing off so then the the adhesive that's on the transfer tape which is actually not too bad. We'll hold everything in place. Then I'll turn it over. I'll pick out the letters and all the centers will be nice and held to the transfer tape. And then I'll stick that all on to the uh, the granite here before I do the blasting. So I'm going to see how that works out. Hold on. All right, I put the transfer tape on and then I put the uh, stencil over top and I pulled the the adhesive backing off and now I will just be careful picking out the big letters and leaving the centers in. All right weeding it that way was a little better that only took like 15 seconds that took maybe a minute didn't have any real problems with the centers this one went okay I did have trouble, I have to admit, with the A. The E was a little, you can see that actually needs to be re-centered. But it definitely went better this way. <clears throat> you know, the trade-off is how much adhesive is on this. When Now we got those centers kind of attached to the transfer tape. When I flip it over to put it on the, the stone and peel it peel the transfer tape off I'm going to have the problem of you know what's going to win is the transfer tape going to be pulling those centers back with it or can I press things down good enough on the stone where the adhesive that's on the, on the vinyl itself going to hold it to the stone so I'm just going to give it a try see what works out best I did find when I was doing the smaller letters using two tools one the picker to kind of get things started and then this one to kind of hold down the center or sometimes I did vice versa to make sure that that because they're not always cut all the way through exactly and so sometimes it's better to just have a second tool there to hold the center in place while you use the other one to to do the weeding but anyway I thought that worked better okay I got it transferred and uh, I got it rolled in pretty good so I'm going to take the transfer tape off, see where we stand. Well, that pulled right off. I didn't have to sit here waiting to hold down any of the centers, so that's the way to go. All right, I'm going to mask off the black part of the stone here and go do the blasting.
All right, I thought that went pretty well. Take a little closer look here. None of the letters came off. You can see that this particular piece of granite has kind of got coarse underneath the polish part. But I think things are deep enough that I can paint through this. Just like I did the other one. So that's the next step. I'm going to use this duper color acrylic enamel. Acrylic enamel is what they use on automobiles. Uh, it gives a nice, quick, and pretty hard finish. And um, so something like this should work. It's not going to take that much paint. We're just going inside the lettering there. So I'll do uh, one light coat to get that set in. And maybe two medium coats and then a final wet coat. Um, you know, given a few minutes to dry between each of one of them. Should go pretty quickly. Well, this is what it looks like after all the paint's dry. Let's take the stencil off. Well, isn't that looking good? Definitely this black with the white lettering is really sharp. I think overall it looks pretty darn good. Just a couple thoughts is maybe I could blast it a little deeper. And then I'm not so sure that this acrylic enamel is the right paint. It looks like it could look a little better with maybe a masonry paint. So I'll be looking into that, but otherwise I think I'm on the right track. Thanks for watching.